Welcome everybody. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist and we are going live today to teach you how to paint this super cute little gnome. Uh, you are my sunflower and so just to give you an idea of where we're at so far with this um, I have done the trace already and we do have a video that goes through the tracing process in greater detail so I'll provide the link for that below in the description um, but I've worked ahead on that so I've got it all ready to paint and of course we have the painting kit for this as well it has all the supplies that you need it's on our website tipsyartist.com and I also provided that link for y'all as well okay so we can go ahead and get started I am going to go ahead have my paint over here my brushes over here and let's talk about our supplies really quick here so we have a bucket of water nearby all of our brushes I call this my mama brush and then my little buddy brush and then my little bit brush all right and then we have some napkins for cleaning our paint set of course if you get our kit yours will be brand new I'm trying to uh, repurpose some of my older paint kits today and then I've got some plates I use this as a palette for mixing and that kind of thing and I have a lot of white out to start because I usually use a, quite a bit of white here with my process okay so and welcome welcome everyone and if I cannot uh, let me check to see if I can see people here on Facebook let's see here all right, so if I can't see your comments, I will be sure to get back with those right after the class. Please tell me hello, or if you have any questions, let me know, and again, I'll get back with you right afterwards. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our mama brush. It's a little bit stiff there. I'm gonna go ahead and make it flexible. Let's go ahead and go into the water. Just have it just moist there. And oops, let's go ahead and pick up that little lot of water. All right, we're going to go ahead and do the background first. And so I'm going to be mixing up a turquoise. So we'll be using some primary cyan blue. And I will be using a nice full dollop of that. It is about a dime size amount. Let's move that in a little bit closer. All right, and then let's go ahead and take a look at our Viridian. This will be the next color that we'll work with. Here is our Viridian. And then, of course, our white here nearby. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a much larger part of the white here. So I'm going to pick up a nice big dollop of the white. And then let's go ahead and touch into that Viridian, add some of that. And then also let's add some of our blue. We're gonna mix all of that together. And this will make a really pretty turquoise color. That's a little bit more of a sky blue. I definitely want that to have more of a turquoise and add more of my Viridian. That will pull it to more of that turquoise. There it is, that's what I'm wanting. All right, that is really beautiful. Love it. And we do want a lot of this mixed up because we have a pretty big background. So I'm going to add a little bit more white. Really nice. Okay, so we're going to be doing a nice big wash of this in the background. And I have worked on the trace with a permanent marker so it will bleed through. But I do want to keep this background a little bit light as I go over that lettering. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll add just a little tiny touch of that water so it does create a little bit more of a wash and you can see how it's just bleeding right through the paint. That's exactly what we want. And I'll be sweeping on this color in just nice broad strokes back and forth. Applying firm pressure all the way across so that we don't have any choppy strokes. It's nice and fluid all the way across. I don't lift off the pressure until I actually get off the other side of the canvas. And we'll just keep taking this all the way down. And again, this is what I call my mama brush, just a nice little half inch tacron brush. So 
Got a little bit more water to keep that paint in a nice fluid state. And we're getting to the point where we're about to run into the major shape here of the image. So I do want to do a little bit of cut in work here. I didn't want to dare do that on the letters because it's much easier to just do an overpaint over the top when I'm done. And again, I won't lose my trace because it will bleed through. So I'll still be able to see all of that. All right, so now cut in work. So I want to go ahead and still using the same brush little bit of firm pressure again. I want to make sure I have a nice thin edge on that edge of the brush. It's very full with paint, so it's kind of making the bristle spread out a little bit. So I want to go ahead and just get it back to a thin edge. So we're getting there. It's a little bit better. Sometimes what you have to do is you have to actually rinse out a little bit. You see now it's very thin on the edge again. So I'm going to hold it more like a pencil, and that'll give me a nice thin line edge to do my cut-in work here. And then as I kind of extend the paint out into the background, then I kind of turn the brush over to the side. And then work that into the background. It's looking really pretty. Still continuing that cut in. If you're feeling a little bit hesitant about some of these smaller shapes, you can absolutely switch over to a smaller brush, either your little buddy right here or a little bit. Just kind of working on the side of the brush there. Pulling it out into the background. And again, thank you so much for being here with me today. Wishing you a very peaceful day. Very relaxing. Beautiful. So if you need to feather out these brush strokes a little bit more, you can go ahead. I'm going to turn it up towards here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of a final stroke here all the way across. Kind of smooths out all those brush strokes. Takes it right off the edge of the canvas.
can do the same thing here. It's becoming a little bit more um, tiny and intricate. So in order to make it easier for beginners, keep your hand light and more of a wash over the top. And we can just do a nice little overpaint here as well. So I added a little bit more water. You can see how those sunflowers are just bleeding right through there. So we'll be able to pick up that design. Whenever this dries. So this just makes it a little bit easier on you. So you don't have to do a lot of cut in work. And we'll take this all the way to the base of the painting. Doing a nice little edge there. Just finishing up the last little bit of our cut-in work here at the base. We'll just continue kind of feathering this out, taking it all the way across. All right, beautiful. Okay, so that gives us a great start. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and work into some of this interior space here of the gnome that's a little bit. Uh, gives us a little bit of distance away from the background here that is still setting up and drying. So we don't want to interrupt that and we don't want to have any uh, blending that occurs with the bright yellow that's coming in right next to this. So we'll give that a little bit of time to set up. So I just rinsed out my brush. Let's talk about that a little bit. Firm pressure round and round and round in little circles here. And let's go and dry that off. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work in some of this flesh tone in here. Okay, so um, we're going to make something that's very kind of pink initially, and then we'll talk about some different shades for skin tone. Because there are lots of different options on that. All right, so we're going to start with some primary magenta. It's very pink. Start with our little buddy. Let's grab some white. Barely touch into that pink. Mix that together. You can just make it a really light, light pink like that if you want. Now, let's make it a little bit more peachy for fun. So let's go ahead and take some cadmium orange. Another little pea-sized dollop of that. Little touch of that orange. See how that kind of makes it more of a peachy color? That's really pretty. Let's add a little bit more white. All right, really pretty little peach color. There it is. We can go ahead and smooth that into that circle. And as I'm pushing with the brush, I'm going in like half circles here to either side and it's making the bristles kind of spread out. 
and making them fan out and that's helped me with that stroke and then I can actually just kind of feather it back out again a little more paint over the surface here all right so that's that first color also if you want something to be a little bit darker in skin tone let's go ahead and address that too so let's see here let's go back to that orange we have our cadmium orange and then we want to grab a little bit of our Mars black. Super tiny amount over here. And what you do is you mix your cadmium orange with your black. And the first thing that will do is make brown. That's a beautiful brown color. So that's a good starting place too. And then you can add a little bit of white to that. Lighten that up a little bit. And you can even add a little bit of pink to that too. Just keep adjusting it to that desired shade. So that's another option. All right, and the stout little buddy brush now we're going to go ahead and make uh, this really pretty color here and this is you know on your gnomes you can either have beards or hair this is going to be our hair all right so i'm going to grab a little bit more of that mars black and a bit more of that a little pea-sized amount of that there not very much Do a bigger dollop of the white. Little tiny touch, start very small with that black, very small amount, mix that in. And that makes a nice charcoal gray. Because mostly the hair will be mostly white, but that gray will definitely come in to give it a little bit of a shadow. So I'm using my mama brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark gray shadow. On all these lines, I hold the brush like a pencil, just kind of curve it down. And let's come around the outside. All right, let's go ahead and scrape off that excess. Let's go ahead and rinse out. Let Mama have a little rest. I'm going to come back in with my little bit brush here. Let's do a little twist, a little twirl into that gray paint. And then I'm just going to finish out those curves. And the hold on a little bit is just, again, usually just like a pencil hold. Rinse out. Now the biggest cheat is to let the white of your canvas be your white. We do want a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to work in the white paint though and then have a little bit of a soft blend in between the white hair and the paint. So we're going to come in with our mama brush again, do a slight over paint, going to touch into that gray and do a nice little soft blend right over the top. And then sometimes a little bit of that excess gray kind of softly blend into the other parts of the hair. Pull back up here from the base. See how we get a nice soft blend in there. Oops, I guess I got a little bit of that brown. That's all right. 
it will softly blend out here a little bit. And then once I get all this white in, I'm going to come back in and touch up my gray just a little bit more. But right now we're doing that little bit of overpaint with the white, soft blend with that gray. Continue to work this into all sections of the gnome hair. And if you find that when you get to this point, if your gray has already set up so much that you're not getting, uh-oh, I've lost my camera. I don't know. This is not good. Hmm. Technical difficulties. Not sure why it's doing this. It's being very stubborn. The computer has been really slow all day today. It's as if the cold temperatures are affecting my computer. I'm going to check on this really quick. back in. Hopefully I was not offline for too long there. And hopefully will not do that to me again. Okay, my apologies. Technology, it's awesome and then sometimes not awesome <laughs> when it fails. All right, we count on it so much. All right, so there we go. We have our beautiful little beard in and I'm going to go, or hair rather, either one. Rinse out. All right, let's go ahead and come back now with a little bit and I'm going to work in some of this gray. And the white paint's still wet, so I'm going to softly kind of come right back in. accentuating that right, and pardon me for a moment I have a guest checking we have B&B's here in Guthrie Oklahoma and I have someone riding me on Airbnb and I need to make sure that she is okay she's been driving in the snow and so I'm going to check on her real quick because she's riding me. I made it. Good. Okay. That is good news. All right. So now you can come back in with a little bit of this white. I've got my little buddy brush now. Kind of softly going into that. Doing another little overpaint here. Another soft blend into that line. Just working it all the way down. Alright, looks super good.
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get some beautiful light green. Let's get some of that now. All right, so we've got some bright yellow green here. Let's get a little bit of this off to the side. And you know what? We might want a little bit of shading with this too. So let's go ahead and grab some cadmium green. Alright, so there's our bright yellow green. Let's grab a little touch of the white with that too. That'll just help it be a little bit more opaque over the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and just smooth it on into this section here. Hold it like a pencil to get into this little thin area. And I'm just going to kind of feather this out. Do this nice little thin area here. Alright, now that's pretty beautiful just on its own, but if you do want to add a little bit of shading, here's a little bit of that darker green. You can kind of touch into that. Just kind of pull that in just a little bit. Grab a little bit more of that bright yellow green. Just kind of softly brush right back into that. All right, very pretty. Let's go ahead and rinse out. And as I mentioned before, I said all this line art would just pop right back out, and it sure did. So I just want to make sure and point that out, that there's no fear in doing that initial wash over the top. Especially as it starts to set up and dry, the black Sharpie really starts to pop out towards the end here, too. All right, now I'm going to go back and pick up a little bit more. We mixed up some brown earlier, and I'm going to do a little bit more brown. So I'm going to grab some of my Mars Black and Cadmium Orange. Here's I need some more cadmium orange. All right, that is lovely. And I need a little white with that. Just to lighten it up a little bit. And that's getting there. A little bit more white. Okay, so that's a little bit more of what I'm wanting. And I'm still using my little buddy brush. I'm going to go ahead and work in these cute little shoes here. Grab a little bit more brown. Work into that cute little shoe here. All 
right, so there's the other little shoe. Now I want a little bit of a highlight over the top, so I'm going to grab a little bit more of that white and just do a little tiny dash of it here over the top. A little bit of highlight of white. And let's rinse out. Okay, so we need to start to work on that hat now. And it's quite dry around the edges, so that's exactly what we need to have happen. And I'm going to go ahead and take another plate. And I'm going to use my cadmium yellow. Pretty big dollop of that, about a nickel sized dollop. Let's grab a little touch of some primary yellow. A little pea size amount of that. And we still have our white up top here that we can grab hold of too for that. I have just a touch of white. I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. I want the hat to be a little bit darker than the sunflower, so I'm going to lean into that cadmium yellow quite a bit more. Of course, you can make the hat any color you want, so you could have like a pink hat, purple hat, all kinds of different colors. But we're keeping it bright. So I'm going to go ahead and paint into this shape here. Using the edge of the brush right next to that edge there. And then I'll feather it back out with the flat side of the brush, holding it more parallel to the canvas. And you know, I just discovered something. So you can go ahead and fill in this bow if you want color completely in it, but it is a little bit of a string bow. And so I'll actually have turquoise kind of peeking through that. So I'll need to work back in some turquoise. I didn't see that in the first place, so I'm going to have to work that back in. And the Sharpie will definitely translate through here and bleed through. So I'm going to do a little bit of an overpaint just to save myself some time. Nice soft wash over the top. Again, this is our cadmium yellow and a little touch of our primary yellow. And if you want, I'm going to go ahead and just, just for continuity, I'm going to go ahead and just sweep right into the whole center, I think. That way you won't have any weird spots that might be darker than the others. Let's just go ahead and work into that whole section. Alright. Quite lovely. Okay, so I'm going to do a little scrape here, excess, save my paint, rinse out. I'm going to grab this little bit of turquoise here in the sky. I don't want to keep forgetting about that. I still have some mixed up, so a little bit is going to come in handy. And we're just going to work right into that. And a little bit right in through here. Okay. Really 
very nice. All right, so our next step will be to go ahead and do some of that sunflower color over the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take my primary yellow. Using a little bit more of that with the white. A little bit brush. We'll grab some of that primary yellow and the white. Mix that together. And then we'll work this through our little petals. Again, this is just white and primary yellow. And I'm kind of laying the brush more a little bit over to the side to work this in. Grabbing a lot of white, making it kind of thick over the top, adding some nice little texture. Looking really pretty, and again, lots of white, primary yellow, gentle touch, laying the brush just as much over to the side, parallel to the canvas as much as possible. If you have to turn your canvas a little bit too, feel free to do that. It's sometimes very helpful too. And sometimes a double coat, you know, with a little bit more texture of that yellow coming in over the top is also necessary. I'm going to start to work in these little sunflowers here too. Working that little point and then just kind of pull it back towards the center. And you can see that I definitely am not too concerned about the circle in the center because it's going to be a really dark shade. So I'm just going to fill that in over the top when I'm done. Kind of just start at that point and then pull in towards the center. Have maybe a little bit of a curve happening here too. Just keep it going all the way around.
looking really good here. Let's go ahead and rinse out. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back into some of our green here. So we've got our bright yellow green, which I definitely need a little bit more of that. So bright yellow green. Let's mix that with the cadmium green. And we'll work that into our leaf. Definitely have to be careful about the cut in work now. You can cheat a little bit in the beginning with certain areas of overpaint, but now we have to be a little bit more precise and work this in around our petals. Kind of feather that back out. Really lovely. Let's keep going. Bright yellow green, cadmium green. Work it out to a point and then come back in. Lovely. We still have quite a bit more foundational green to do, so I'm going to work into it. Bright yellow green, cadmium green, just nice even mix of both. And we'll do our little stems here. And then our leaves. Now we need to do some beautiful grass. So we're going to come up from the base here. We have our template gives us a guide. Again, bright yellow green, cadmium green, and then we're going to start at the base and just kind of pull up and then lift off with a light hand. looking great. Let's go ahead and rinse out. Okay, so now we need to work on the center here. We have a dark brown that's happening. So again, our brown mix is our Mars Black and our Cadmium Orange. So we're going to work back into that. Mix those two together. Got my little bit brush. And we're going to go ahead and work that into the center here. I have an oblong circle. Hmm. 
really pretty. And you can just do little tiny touches. So it's not too perfect when it comes out. I'm barely touching. Little tiny pushes. Take those all the way around. Okay. All right. Same thing here in the center. Do a little circle first. And again, another little circle. Kind of push around little half circles. Fill it in. Twist it back out, nice fine point. And then you can do a little bit of that same thing, just little tiny, super tiny little touches just all around the edge. Very delicate, just a little bit of that imperfection. We don't want our circles to be too perfect. There we go. Again, just all the way around, just little tiny touches. Love it. Alright, very nice. Okay, it's looking good. And then I want a lighter brown up here. So we're going to switch up here go into that part that's got that little touch of white into our brown. Just grab a little bit of water, make that a bit more fluid, easier to move. It's set up and dried a little bit, so now I'm gonna twirl back into it. And we've kinda got the center of that little bow here. A little piece of twine, I'm gonna work around that. Looking good. Okay, so I'm going to take that same light brown that we have. Again, that's our cadmium orange, Mars black, mixed that together for brown. Then I added some white to it to make it a lighter brown. But I'm going to use some of this to help me do a little bit of the shading around the hat. I'm going to borrow that and push it over here with our cadmium yellow. Let's get a visual on that again. And let's load up a little bit more with that because we're running really low. So I'm going to do another little pea size amount. So let's grab a healthier amount of that. And then our cadmium yellow. That's what we'll put on over that line. And we'll finish our little outline over here.
Again, still grabbing that cadmium yellow with that lighter brown, working on our outline here. Brush is getting a little full of paint, so we we'll do a little twist to get that fin back out again. So we have that finer line that we can work in with. Good. Rinse out. Uh, let's grab some more of our cadmium yellow. Take our mama brush. Let's work back into that cadmium yellow and then kind of softly push right up against that line. A nice little soft blend on that. Kind of feather those strokes out a little bit. Let's work back into this section here. So we're getting a nice little soft blend in there, coming right next to that outline. It's looking good. Still have more details to work in. All right, so we do have some nice little circles over the hat, but we're gonna let this have some setup and dry time. And then I'm gonna work in a little bit of ground cover here. So I have that light brown, and I'm gonna go ahead and push that in here. It's my mama brush, and I'm just gonna kinda Work that into the base, just a little curve of it. And let's rinse out. come back in with some highlights now with our cadmium yellow and our sunflower and I've got my little bit brush and I'm just going to kind of pull up around the edges here to help define every little petal so when I get near that circle I kind of do a little push and then a pull out to the edge And for me, anyway, I still kind of see a little bit of that Sharpie line behind there. And that's a little bit of my guide. So 
it just kind of adds another nice layer of definition and color. Do the same thing here, just little accents, little tiny touches. Start from the center and just kind of pull out on each one of those little petals. Great. Now we need some accents on our leaves, so I'm going to come back in with my bright yellow green. And a little bit of that white from up above there. I have some of that over here, too. Let's mix that together. I want some highlights on these leaves. Just kind of mix that in and just start at the base, pull straight up, lift off with a light hand. And if we can also come in with a shadow of some viridian up here too for a darker shade, a little pea sized amount of our viridian. little bit brush again, let's touch into that. Pull up from the bottom, a nice soft blend, and with that light bright yellow green paint, just kind of pull right up through there. Pretty. All right, so I'm going to come back around using some of that light brown. I'm going to add a little bit more of this primary yellow to it that we had earlier that was this outline here, but I'm going to add some of that primary yellow to it. And I'm going to get just a little bit of an outline around the flower here. help separate, makes that little flower kind of pop out in front. Because it was just kind of blending in, it looked a little too blend it into the background. I, I want to see it pop out to the front a little bit, so I'm adding just a little tiny amount of that shadow right behind it. So that's helping quite a bit. And I'm also going to come back in and do another little soft blend around the nose here. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of that 
primary magenta, a little bit of that brown. And let's grab some orange here too. So I just barely want a little bit of a shadow happening here, so a little bit more white. Make this a little bit darker. Or I'm sorry, a little bit lighter, rather. Let's do a little twist into that. And we'll go ahead and just circle up here. shading here, a soft half circle, let's rinse out, and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of that white right next to that. And then we'll just follow up with a little bit more of a white little swish on the other side for a little accent. work back in with my viridian again and add some accents to my leaves. So this is my little bit brush and this is my viridian. It's very dark. Do a nice little defining moment here for these little fellas. So I'll come back around those little shapes. Get a line on the inside. Straight line through the center. Let's do the same thing here. Now that dinghy is my mother <laughs> and my brother. They're trying to have a group chat with me and they do not know I'm teaching a class right now. So everybody say, hi mom. Hi Jimmy, that's my brother. Let's define those. Let's do a little bit more of this pretty, a little twist into that. And let's do a little outline. And we have a line right through the middle. And little diagonal lines that come down on the sides, too. Oh, that looks a lot better. That really kind of made it pop. So that's very nice. And we'll go ahead and do a little defining green here at the base here as well. And I worked right back into it with a little bit of light. That was that bright yellow green and the white to kind of do a soft blend into it. All right, we're almost ready for our little circles. So these are white circles, but they do have a little touch of that primary yellow. And I need more primary yellow for sure here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our primary yellow. 
Add a little pea-sized amount of that. those two together make this very light all right so there's a couple different things you can do you can do small polka dots um, which can be achieved by just dotting into it here and then doing you know going like that with little polka dots actually let me show you with a darker color so you could do polka dots like that So that's going to be a small dot, but we're going to do big dots, and I'm going to go ahead and have my little buddy brush here. This is bright primary yellow and white. I'm going to start right here in the center. I'm just going to push out to the side, twirl that brush, and it will push that brush in a half circle. Do the same thing here on the other side. Just basically just take it all the way around. And they basically just kind of meet. Just kind of, you know, keep repeating that. There's another little circle. bit. It becomes a little bit too translucent. And then sometimes we have like just little half circles. So we can start here and push to get to that little edge there. another one up here. Okay, we want one more right over here. Okay, I we'll need to kind of come back in here and touch up that little edge. So let's grab a little bit more of that brown. Maybe we got those corrected, and then I'm going to come back in here with this one. So we have those super cute little circles on the hat now. So we've done a great job with that. Okay, so now we're really just down to our lettering here. So there are some options. If you're really uh, hesitant about doing these with the brush, um, you can certainly just do it with a permanent marker that comes with your kit. You can just do black and just fill it in. Paint markers are also great for, you know, those are very helpful for shaky hands. And then, of course, you can also do it with uh, the white paint here, too. So I'm going to start with some of that white paint. Or you can just paint it on black as well. All right, so I'm going to start with some of this white. This is my little bit brush. And ideally, you want this to set up and dry so you don't ever risk resting any parts in here. For the sake of time, though, I'm just going to keep my arm elevated and be very careful. And then I'll just work right into this lettering that we have traced. 
And just a note of caution as you're working back into lettering, always make sure that with all of the loops that you go around the loops. You don't want to go inside of the loop with the paint because then you close off that shape and then the letter actually becomes very unrecognizable. So that can get a little tricky. So just be mindful of that. Again, like on this little loop, I'm going to make sure and go around it. And I'm using my pinky to help brace my hand and keep it steady. It's very helpful, kind of acts like a training wheel. We'll just continue this all the way across. Alright, that looks awesome. And you can always come back and do a second coat if you need it. Alright, and then the last step, of course, is to sign your masterpiece. So you can do that with a 
permanent marker if you want to, or you can kind of just paint it on. I'm going to take my little bit brush, spread a little bit of water. That helps make the paint very fluid, easier to move. I'm going to twirl the head of the brush back out. There's my little signature. Okay, so we are done. It looks gorgeous. So cute. We have this as a paint kit, tipsyartist.com, or um, we also are going to be do this, doing this in our studio, too, a lot. Um, we've got this weekend, and then also uh, in the month of March and the month of April, we've added it. So lots of opportunities to paint this with me. But we just thank you so very much for joining us here today. We had a great time, very peaceful, relaxing time with y'all. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get back with you right after the class. And again, everything you need, all of your supplies, is at tipsyartist.com. So thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Toodles.